Welcome back to another session of Visio Divina, or Praying with Art. Before we start, I wanted to encourage you to take whatever pace you would like for your Visio Divina. We will have music in the background and some pauses built in, but if you would like more time, feel free to pause it and continue on to the next step when you feel ready. This is all about growing in intimacy with God, so do whatever helps you with that. In this video, we will be walking through the image of The Dream of St. Joseph by Philippe de Champagne. In this painting, we see the dramatic moment in which St. Joseph learns the circumstances of Mary's pregnancy through an angel. It is a beautiful window into the relationship of Mary and Joseph. It can be hard to imagine what Mary and Joseph both felt in this scene, but this image seems to capture some of it. While we can often picture the moment of Joseph in his own private space, the artist seems to merge two places to incorporate Mary and Joseph together in one image. Mary, the one with child by the Holy Spirit, is exposing herself to possible ridicule and even death for being with child. Because Joseph was a just man, he was hoping to divorce Mary quietly to not cause a stir about this scenario. And we capture the moment when the angel appears to him in a dream. You see his carpentry supplies and sandals in the front as though he had a hard day's work to work through and reflect on what Mary shared. And in this moment, the angel seems to appear and tell Joseph the real story. As you pray with this image, feel free to watch it from the outside or to place yourself in Mary or Joseph's place. As we begin, take a minute or two to place yourself in God's presence. Place your feet flat on the ground and take in some long, deep breaths in and out. Invoke the Lord to guide you with his Holy Spirit during this time of prayer. Take the next few minutes to sit with his image. What is striking you about it? Is it the scene or the expressions? Do you relate to any of the characters? Take these to prayer, and you can even journal your thoughts.
At this point, we will show the scripture passage on the screen. Feel free to read along aloud with us or look at your image quietly as we read this passage. Be aware of what words or phrases are striking you. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home.
For this next step, we will show on the screen some reflection questions. Take one or two of these to prayer and journal them. Feel free to pause the video and linger here or at another moment in the video if helpful. Go wherever the Spirit leads you in your prayer. As we finish up our time of prayer, ask the Lord how he wants you to live out from this time of Visio Divina. An example can be praying an act of faith in moments of trial throughout your week, or even just doing a kind act for someone. Take this to prayer and journal it. I hope you enjoyed praying with us and that you have found it fruitful and beneficial. If you are looking for additional resources on Visio Divina, Check out our website at www.beholdvisiodivina.com. We host prayer groups both in person and virtually, provide printed materials for parishes to lead their own small groups, and have additional resources and events. 
It is such a joy to pray with you, and I look forward to having you join us for our next episode.